July 24th, 1943, Curie Beach, North Carolina. John E. Gregory Sr. and his wife Lorena are enjoying a summer evening on their porch when, all of a sudden, they're hit by a giant U-boat spotlight coming from the ocean. They watch as it scans the coast before hearing that dreadful sound, artillery fire. This would go on to become the first and only attack on the East Coast during World War II. Or would it? The Gregories and other eyewitnesses, none of which were harmed, believed 100% that they saw and heard a German U-boat attack. The US government, on the other hand, denied such an event took place, saying, nothing happened, you didn't see anything. There is evidence to suggest that a submarine attack was highly unlikely at the time. German U-boat logs show that there was only one ship off the coast of the Carolinas in July of 1943, U-190. It was captained by Max Wintermeyer, who was known for being cautious. Wintermeyer also makes no mention of such a maneuver in his logs, or even being that close to the North Carolina shore. All in all, it would be highly unusual for a U-boat captain to do such a thing, especially after other attempts at such an attack had failed, like one in Aruba earlier in the war. But still, how do you disregard multiple eyewitness accounts? Many do not. They believe it was the act of a lone wolf captain who didn't keep a record of it. And considering that the Carolina coast was a hotbed of U-boat activity during the war, and that many captains were quite bold in their efforts, it may still very well have been possible. What do you think? Was Curie Beach attacked by a German U-boat? Or is this just a fun piece of wartime lore? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's YouTube channel for more strange Heartland history. I'm Christopher Pilney.